What's up, nerds? Uh, welcome to the first clip of a new week. Uh, I didn't tell y'all. Uh, I actually uh, gave up. All right. Oh yeah. Last week I found a really sweet pit bull, a young female, probably under a year. Looked like she'd had pups or something already, though. Uh, wandering around at night. It was following David or Ryan. I can't remember who. My finger's really cold, so this clip actually might not be very long. Like I said, it's freezing out here, and I'm almost to work. Uh, but I couldn't find the owner, so I relinquished it to the animal control along with Oliver because I had been trying to find Oliver or the cat with a thousand names. I've been trying to find his owner for months and months and couldn't and I just didn't really want Oliver, you know, I didn't I didn't want that extra financial uh responsibility. Plus my cat didn't really seem to uh like her very much. Or like Oliver. Um but yeah, so I turned them over to animal control. And so I'm two animals down in the house. My fingers are way too cold. I can't do this right now. I'll talk to you guys in a second. Whew. Fingers feel like they're being eaten alive. Apparently this is going to be my new shack soon. This is what they're going to have us uh, working in. I'm not sure if this is going to be much better than what I have already. I'm going to have to do some repairs to it or something. Maybe add in a light. Got to get to work now. What's up? Here we are, finally at the music store. Yeah. Both of us had to get our guitars restrained. Yep. What is that? Oh, that's cool. I'm having mine restringed. That makes me think of uh, Back to the Future. Is there a reason? Is there a reason this guitar? I don't know if you work here, but I assume you do. Uh, says that on it, as opposed to all the other ones around here. Because it has a locking system on it, and most people when they come in here, oh. they'll try to tune it from these and you'll break all the strings. Oh, okay. I'm sure that's happened on more than one occasion, huh? I'm sure that happens all the time, doesn't it? Well, humans. Hey! Sorry, I was like really, I was really entertained by that puppy. See, look, everybody else gets to bring their dogs. How come I can't bring my dog? You can't bring your dog if you want. I know. You should finally get your dog a freaking tag. I have a, my dog has a tag. What are these? Oh. Well, I need to get some, uh... All right, well, I want to chat, but I really actually don't got time. I got to get this done and gone. So, I was talking about nothing. Talking about... What's up, dudes? Welcome to the first clip of a um, new week. I don't even know if it is a first clip of the week. But uh, I just got back from hanging out with my brother at the movies. Um, that was pretty cool. We went and saw... Uh, what did we see? Battle Alita Battle Angel. Uh, it was a good movie. I've been working on the guitar. I'm not really getting much better at it, though. Not in my opinion, but... Uh, and I've been playing some Nintendo 64 this week with my buddies. A little bit. I've been mostly watching them play. Uh, shoot. Reinstalled the OS on my laptop. Deleted a bunch of the stupid crap that I used to keep on there. All the games and crap. So there's just a couple things left that is just because other people play my laptop. Um, I am going to... I don't know. But, yeah, you got it. See you on the next clip. What's up, guys? Final clip of the week. Um, 
I just wanted to go over a review, a couple things that happened over the week. Uh, so I actually spent a good number of days, uh, like super, like, I don't know. I, I'm getting tired of talking about it really. Cause I feel like it's giving a bad impression off upon me. Uh, and I really don't want people getting the wrong impression of me. Uh, so I could just be like, fuck it. I don't care what people think of me. That's what I need to do. Fuck it. I don't care if you look down upon me because they got feelers. Uh, so they're my issues. I'm working through them. So you know what? I don't care how you think of me. Uh, so, uh, I was really struggling with, with suicidal thoughts over the weekend. Um, and, you know, I, I was even cutting on my arm a little bit, uh, which I don't normally do, but, uh, I'm going to see the therapist this Friday. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, I want to talk about this stuff, but I have a hard time doing it because I don't want to look bad. I don't want people to think I'm pathetic. You know, and I'm also trying to overcome what people think of me caring so much. Uh, but it's difficult because it's difficult to even talk to a therapist about this stuff, let alone just mentioning it on a camera. Uh, but yeah, I'm not... I thought about starting a YouTube channel that was just about documenting the stages of depression and stuff. And I even, uh, like, when I start feeling it, I'd start recording so that I could look back and try and re, uh, reobserve the behaviors and the emotions I was going through, see what I could, uh, do to, uh, work through it next time by observing my actions. Um, and that's worked a lot for me in regards to controlling, uh, making sure that I think before I speak kind of thing. Uh... Because I used to do that a lot when I would get into arguments and stuff with people. Uh, and I knew that there was going to be like a big blow up. Or I felt one coming when uh, someone wanted to talk to me. I'd always start recording on my phone. That way I could hold myself accountable uh, for what it is that I say. And so that, uh, yeah, pretty much just so I could hold myself accountable. Um... So that I can make sure that I'm, fo because I want to present myself in a good light and I know that I'm recording myself, I will work extra hard to be professional, be mature about what it is, my response is, you know, and be, uh, be the bigger, the bigger person, whatever it is that, uh, whatever the conflict is, make sure I'm taking full responsibility and so on and so forth kind of thing. I haven't had to do that in like s almost fucking 10 years though, so. Uh, uh, um, kind of miss Oliver and, uh, that, that pity. I forgot her name, uh, that we found. Oh, boy. Gotta go, uh, I'm gonna order some new clothes th next week. I'm gonna get myself a whole new wardrobe. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Hopefully I can afford it all. Uh, cause next week is also bill we or a rent, rent is due, so. And then the week after that, I am gonna be getting my tattoo done. Um, probably get a couple more clothes that I need. Um, and save what I got left, I guess, for work. Man, I'm trying to save for a car. I'm not buying frivolous, stupid stuff. I think I bought, uh... A hundred dollars in the last month that I spend on frivolous stuff. Everything else has been, I've been trying to save, but it ends up having to get used for bills or because I need to, I need to, you know, get better stuff for myself. Um, and so my saving isn't going very well because it just keeps disappearing as I get it. Uh, so that's very frustrating. Um, and it, and and usually it's because I'm just wasting it on stupid crap. But since I don't really buy games or anything anymore, uh, except for the Blue Moon, uh, just like a collectible. Um, 
it's ha it's still surprisingly hard to save up any money. I feel like I need to find a bit. I wish I was making like five grand a month. No, I wish I was making like a grand a week. That'd be cool. I need to find... I know I'm smart, but I, I'm frustrated because it doesn't feel like I have any marketable skills. Even though I know a lot of stuff. Like, I'm really good with computers, you know, and all sorts of things, but computer jobs without a degree, you know, that's kind of difficult to get. Um, opening my own business, you know, that's something I want to do again, but my skills that everybody has, it seems like, uh, such as uh, the computer tech. Uh, I just, I feel like the one area that I had some skills in, or that I had a lot of skill in, is just not a marketable area anymore. And that was computer repair. Because computers are so cheap now that repairing them, you know, for the most part, people won't bother with it so much anymore. Yep. So I don't actually know what marketable skill I have anymore. Um, I'm great with people. Uh, at least, yeah. I'm friendly. So, I mean, I get a customer service job, but I don't want a stupid low-end entry-level job, man. I want a career. And this job's easy, and it pays decent. It doesn't pay good. It pays decent. Um... Shoot, this job pays me what the minimum wage is going to be in this state in three years. Um, so I wonder if they're going to up my pay to, to, to fit the uh, pay rate, pay the minimum wage rate. Otherwise, it'll just feel like I'm getting paid minimum wage. You know what? I'm ending it here. I struggled with some depression this week. It's snowing. Uh, just blew the door open. Uh, you know what? I'm done. Talk to you guys later.